here tonight at 5, searching for three invaders who shot a Dayton homeowner. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Police say the robbers opened fire when the victim caught them in the act. It, hoping, it happened late this morning in the 1000 block of Manhattan Avenue in the Five Oaks neighborhood. Our Jordan Burgess spoke with a neighbor who came face to face with the gunman. Jordan? Well, that neighbor says things are normally pretty quiet on their street. And that's why when one man stepped out to pay a bill, he left his door open. We've all done it before, but someone decided to take advantage, and now that man is in fair condition at the hospital, recovering from a gunshot wound. Crime scene tape surrounds these stairs, which one man climbed to find his girlfriend and young kids being held at gunpoint. As soon as he uh, was walking up, she realized he was there. She's like, please don't shoot my baby's daddy. Please don't shoot my baby's daddy. Uh, the suspect then says, oh, we're going to shoot him. As that man tried to push his way inside his home, one of the three robbers reached around the door with his gun and shot him in the back. The gunman then ran right past Beverly Calhoun. I turned around to look. He pointed directly at me, looked at me. I'm on down the steps with the gun in his hand. Calhoun and the victim had left together to pay their electric bills. They were gone only minutes, but in that time, three men had burst into the home. Once inside, they were screaming and yelling, where's the money, where's the money? She explained to them, I have no money. She says, you can check my purse, it's empty. The three were in the process of hauling off some flat screen TVs when Calhoun and the victim returned home. After the shooting, a witness thought they saw the suspects head to this house on Harvard Boulevard, but police couldn't find anybody. Officers aren't sure why the men targeted that Manhattan Avenue home. It's a random act of violence. I mean, it's a crime of opportunity. They, they happened to just be walking by, or they had a pre-plan that we're not sure of. Uh, maybe they heard she had some money at the time, and before he paid the bill, they wanted to get at the money. Those we talked with who live on the street say this crime just leaves them shaking their heads. I don't know what we can do about it. It's just, it's, it's sad to say, but it's the sign of the times. And I just don't know what we can do. We try to protect our homes and try to get out and work and do what we can to, to have things. And then someone just comes in and just want to take it. And it's, it's just frustrating, to say the least. Unfortunately, not much of a description at this point of those suspects. Two had masks on, the third had dreadlocks and a goatee. But if you know anything that could help police catch them, call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.